This is the story of Mamet Fromage, the most renowned mime in all of France, which is truly impressive because that country is literally jam-packed with mimes. They're everywhere. Mimet was beloved by the entire nation. Her trapped in a box routine was unparalleled. One day, in a shocking display of poor judgment, Mimet was caught touching a physical object in the midst of a performance. The ultimate sin in the mime community. For this crime, her peers banished her from the French mime community forever. Mimet was shattered. Her life's work now lay in ruins. Lost and dejected, Mimet decided that she needed to flee the country and start anew. As she was strolling past a travel agency, she saw a sign advertising a wondrous looking place. Whistler. Without wasting even a whisker of a moment, she purchased a one-way ticket and departed France the very next day, flying across the Atlantic to her new mountain home. When she arrived in Whistler, she was positively flabbergasted. Oh, Jesus Christ, I like poutine with cheese curd, not a dog. There were so many outrageous sights, scenes, and sounds, she didn't even know where to begin. What a weird looking shield, mate! G'day, mate! First, she decided to try out some of the town's world famous skiing. Then, she went and soothed herself at the spa. And that night, she met some wonderful new friends while twerking it on the dance floor at a local Whistler nightclub. Mehmet had had an absolutely smashing first day in Whistler. Unfortunately, she was now completely out of money, so she decided to get herself a job. First, she tried her hand at serving. Unbelievable. It didn't Fired. quite work out. Fired! Then, she tried her hand at spa massage. What are you doing? It didn't work out either. So she decided to try a job that almost anyone can do. Everybody, make some noise for DJ Vinyl Money! Becoming a disc jockey. After all, anyone can just stand there and make records spin, can't they? Perhaps unsurprisingly, that job didn't work out either. Mimet was beginning to think that she really wasn't good at anything at all. Feeling glum, she decided to drown her sorrows at the bar. Her inner jazz now replenished with liquid courage. Mimet headed straight for the dance floor to burn up some steam. Her unorthodox moves soon caught the attention of an upstanding local gentleman. Mimet and her new gentleman caller immediately began hitting it off, so much so that he decided to courteously escort her out of the bar and into this cab and straight back to his house. 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 The gentleman caller was pretty sure he had this one in the bag. One in the bag. But things didn't go quite exactly as he planned. And just when things couldn't get any more awkward. What a disaster. The next morning, Mehmet felt like she'd been beaten with a large sack of angry kittens. Mehmet was positively crestfallen. No matter how hard she had tried, she just didn't seem to fit in here. People just didn't understand her. As she paused for a moment to wipe away her mime tears, she suddenly spotted something out of place. Whistler's most favorite functional family, the Schepanskys, were about to get crushed by an oncoming motorist. Instinctively, Mehmet sprang into action. It was a miracle. Mehmet had saved the day. She was a hero. Maybe she would fit into this town after all, simply by just being herself. Yes, it seemed that Bennett had found a way to stay in Whistler and live happily ever. Oh, tea and biscuits.